And welcome to another session of Stepping Forward in Stand-Up Comedy. And you, of course, already know what we're covering this time. You saw the title card just a few seconds ago. We're getting into the leading role, the star of the show, you. Who else could be the star of your own show? And the reason we call them stars, the most attractive lead character, is because they shine through. And the other supporting character actors, they tend to orbit around that star. And you might be asking yourself, hang on a second, what are the characters and actors? This is stand-up comedy, it's typically a solo pursuit. But of course you can create any character you like, bring them to life by acting them out on stage. So what we want to do in this session is to give you some of the skills to add some physicality to your performance. We're going to look at stage positions, stage breakdowns, so you don't break down on stage. Give you some tips on how to maybe move for best effect to engage with the audience. And we're going to drill into ways of engaging with the audience, not just to be likeable and relatable, which is kind of stage one, connecting with an audience. It definitely works, but it's to be truly compelling. Compelling, of course, means to be fascinating in a way that the audience just can't help to keep watching you, to keep their eyes on you. One of the ways to be compelling is to be vulnerable. We all know the great movie stars who are able to show their inner emotions and engage us as the audience. Well, maybe you can take some of the tips and tricks and techniques that they use as a means to be more vulnerable, to drill into your art and ideas a little bit further and to connect with the audience on a deeper level. <laughs> Body language, non-verbal communication. This isn't just a skill useful to stand-up comedians who wish to become superior stand-up comedians. Non-verbal communication is truly a skill for life to help you navigate the world of dealing with colleagues, family, friends. Very powerful on the dating scene if that's where you find yourself in this part of life. It helps you to read people and it helps you to lead people. <laughs> The fact is, when humans engage with one another in the real world, we're actually communicating on three levels. They're the words that we say, and I think we've covered those quite thoroughly so far. And then there's the tone or the use of the voice that delivers those words. We'll be covering that in a later session. But there's also body language, non-verbal communication. It's a super powerful skill, and we're going to get into some of the basics there. In fact, we're going to get into some of those basics right now. <laughs> One of the advantages of being adept at non-verbal communication is that you can send out signals that will subconsciously hit the minds of the people you're communicating with. In our instance, an audience, a stand-up comedy audience. You can develop your charisma and make an attachment with the audience on a more of a subconscious level. By being charismatic, you, of course, are likeable, present and enthused. And that tends to invoke a response from the audience where they're enthusiastic about you. They like you. They look up to you. It can even inspire loyalty which is why cult leaders are so often called charismatic. Those who are competent with non-verbal communication are extremely good at building a rapport with people and, again, in this case, you're looking to build a rapport with your audience. So there's a sense in comedy, there's a saying in comedy, that when you begin, you say funny things. But a more advanced comedian can say things funny. And by able to use some of the body language and acting out skills, you'll be able to say things funny, which is a much more advanced level of standard.